<laughs> Good morning and welcome to your daily sparks. You know, in Ezekiel 47, I love this passage. We read of water flowing from God's throne. And in Scripture, water is often tied to life and life in the Spirit, the works of the Holy Spirit in particular. So the river that flows from the Millennial Temple and, and, and flows all the way down is further evidence of God's Spirit returning to His house. There, it's another way of testifying to God's people that He is in the place and that His blessing is there when you see a flow of the Holy Spirit like that. And there's a kingdom lesson here. The church is supposed to be a model of the kingdom of God to come. We're supposed to be a living illustration of what that living water is actually like. When we grow, when things happen in the Holy Spirit, we, we are supposed to be showing the world what it's really like to flow with the water of God. The reason our culture is drying up is there's no spiritual water flowing from most of the sanctuaries around our nation. We aren't going to, uh, going to get the water flowing down the streets of our communities until the water of the Holy Spirit and God's love is flowing in our individual churches. If God's presence doesn't show up amongst his people, how will it show up in the neighborhoods, in the nation and in the world? We've got to have the presence of God. We need to not be afraid of what God is, is, is doing and, and afraid of his Holy Spirit. We need to embrace his Holy Spirit and say, Lord, show me, lead me. It's not weird or crazy. It should just be normal living for us as Christians. So today, why don't you take moments in the day to just pray and say, Lord, lead and guide my steps by your Holy Spirit and let him do so. Because that's when the water starts to flow to a thirsty land. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.